Okay, so this is just my experience with this Sika post fix that I used on my fence posts that were rotten off. I uh, did two of them. Okay, so this is what happened. I had a post in the center like that, four by four pressure treated post, and it rotted off down there. So I just, years ago, I just put these panels in with two lag screws, one down there and one down there. So when that post rotted off, I was just able to undo those lag screws and uh, remove that post. Of course, it broke off down in the ground. I had to dig it out, which is not a problem. And I used a post hole digger down there to dig it to the right depth. But I'm just going to put the top of the post up there, drill it on, and fill the hole in with some stuff I bought. Sit cup fence post fix it. Okay. And there's a piece that rotted off right there. So I braced up the fence to hold it up with uh, that right there and that one right there and this kind of held it in place with these uh, things right here one on both sides over there see the other side A little one down there got this stuff here Sitka post fix it. Gonna mix it up, put it in that hole right there. I'm gonna roll it up like this, bust that seal, cut that piece off, and put it in that hole. It's a two-part mix, kind of like uh, epoxy glue. You, you mix the two parts together, and then it gets hard. This is fast forward here. It took about two minutes to get up this high. I did a horrible job on the other side of the post, of making room for the foam to go around the post. And here's a picture of the other side of the fence where the foam didn't get around uh, the post because of my stupidity. But uh, in the end, uh, the foam hardened up real good and the uh, fence post was solid. All right, here's a corner post I had to pull out. And as you can see down at the bottom, it was rotted off pretty good there. So I'm just in the process of pulling it out and uh, getting it ready to replace. All right, we got her down. Now I just have to dig that rotten thing off there. I'll use a post hole digger and a, a narrow shovel. Okay, so I dug my hole. It's about uh, two feet down there. And I dug a bell shape down there at the bottom. It's kind of really super round down there at the bottom. So hopefully I can get all the way around it this time. And then it kind of narrows as it comes back up, it narrows up. So, all right, let's uh, put this uh, four by four post on. Okay, so I got the post just sitting there, and we're two feet down in the ground there from the bricks. The whole goal was not to mess with those bricks. And I got a bell shaped at the bottom, so it'll go around the bottom all the way uh, just below the bricks. And hopefully that stuff will go all the way around. We'll see. And then I'm just going to lag screw it in here. I got to drill a few holes, a couple, three holes, and then lag screw it in. And we got a lag screwed in right there, holding it. And we got a lag screw holding it in right there. Got my uh, Sitka post it fix. I'm gonna roll it up and got my seesaws right here. Okay, so I mix it up for 15 seconds. 
I'm gonna cut it right here. And I'm gonna pour it in this hole here. This time I dug all around the post so when I dumped the foam in there it would go completely around the post and make it a solid structure. It's a two foot hole and I noticed it was way short of the top about three to four inches uh, and I found out why and that's because I didn't use all the material. Okay so here's the two bags uh, left over and they still got quite a bit of crunchy stuff in there more they chemicalize or whatever but yeah this one's got quite a bit in there. So I apparently I didn't get it all out of the bag. And I'm all done with the project, post number one. Got the dirt over the top of the foam. Although I'm not real pleased with my performance about how the foam turned out. The post turned out pretty solid and I'm pretty uh, content with it. All right, let's go over here to post number two where I'm finished. And it turned out really nice. I'm very happy with it. Uh, got the dirt over the uh, foam. Last night it rained and thundered tremendously last night. And uh, yeah, the post is solid as a rock. I'm extremely happy with the, uh, the Sitka post fix.